Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves somewhere out in Missouri where a sovereign citizen was pulled over for a defective equipment on his vehicle. Actually, not his vehicle, but his wife's vehicle. And he pulls the same old Sovtard script, which doesn't work on the original officer, so he demands a supervisor. And guess what? It still doesn't work, and he still ends up with a ticket. So let's go ahead and sit back. Relax and enjoy the show. First of all, could I uh, get your badge number? I'm sorry? Your name and badge number? Officer Greenwald, 386. 386, thank you for that. And you're wanting my driver's license because driver's why? Driver's license proof of insurance. You've got a... For a... Infraction. You've, uh, your license plate isn't on on your license plate. Okay, so <laughs> what, what crime do you suspect me of committing? Hey, smooth brain, he already told you what the uh, violations were, but I guess you're uh, just too empty-headed to realize what he said. I mean, he could say it slower so you could understand it, but even then, I don't think you'd understand. In order to produce a, a, any it's kind of ID or, or to ID to you, traffic violation is not a crime, sir. I'm not causing by loss of injury or harm. Okay, um, so... This is my I, I wife, my ex-wife's car, for sir. but I believe that would be a violation of my Fourth Amendment okay. to have to give you anything over a traffic violation. Survey says... No. Uh, it is not a violation of the, your Fourth Amendment right to present your license to an officer during a traffic stop. In fact, the Tenth Amendment grants the states the rights to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution. And guess what? Missouri has a law that covers that, you bloody nitwit. Learn the laws instead of pretending you know the laws. Oh, by the way, this guy's going to call himself a constitutional law scholar here in the next few minutes. So we have a uh, Chili de Castro on our hands here. Which, it's not even a traffic violation. It's a equipment yeah, violation. What was that, sir? That's an equipment violation. It's not a traffic... I didn't commit a... Tra I did not commit any kind of violation. Did your parents have any children that live? Sir, yes, sir. I bet they regret that. But didn't you just try to twist the narrative by saying it was an equipment violation and not a traffic violation? So therefore, a violation was committed right here? So, dude, make up your damn mind. Okay, it is a traffic violation. It goes with your uh, taillights. You have to have a license plate on your license plate and your taillights. Okay, again, this this isn't my car. I didn't know that that okay. she had but you're issues. you're operating the vehicle. So I am. I'm you, sir. However, in order to ID somebody, you must have reasonable, articulable suspicion that I've committed a crime, about to commit a crime, or in the middle of committing a crime. Okay. And and tell and so, would you uh, go ahead and just call your supervisor? Because I want to speak to your. Yeah. I don't answer questions and I don't give anything. Okay, I've got I've got a supervisor on the way right now. Awesome, thank um, you, for, sir. Are you no, I'm not. I'm not. That ID for me. Look, I'm not trying to give you a hard time or anything. I just I'm a constitutional scholar and okay. I do exercise my uh, all my rights. I never waive them ever. Well, no shit. So I stand on my knowledge of of what true law says in black and white. And I and anybody that violates my rights, I hold them accountable just to, for the transparency and to make sure that y'all are following your following your oath to the Constitution. You're you're currently driving this vehicle, correct? I'm not a driver. No, that's a commercial term. I'm not in any kind of capacity, commercial capacity. I'm not trafficking. I'm not. Okay. Okay. Let's see what one of the modern versions of. Uh, Black's Law Dictionary has to say about this uh, definition, dude. Driver, one employed in conducting or operating a coach, carriage, wagon, or other vehicle with 
horse, mules, or other animals, a bicycle, tricycle, or motor car, a street railroad car, a person actually doing driving, whether employed by an owner, to drive or driving his own vehicle. Now, just in case the term employed confuses you, soft hard, and I know it does, here is what the term employ means. To make use of, to use, to use or engage in the services of, to provide with a job that pays wages or a salary. I mean, several different terms. But all in all, you are a complete moron. So or, this this are is you a traveling. Are you driving? What are you doing? Driver driving is a commercial term, and this is not a auto, uh, motorized vehicle. That's a commercial term. This is my ex-wife's personal, legally and lawfully paid for personal property. Okay. So you're not going to provide that ID for me, sir? Unless I'm being threatened to be arrested. Then, under force threatened arrest, I will present it. But then we're going to have a, a a huge issue just being straightforward with you. I'm not get, trying to give you a hard time. Right. But that would be in 1983, Section 40, or Title 42, Section 1983, Deprivation of Rights. Oh, try again, dude. You're trying to go down the civil rights lane. Uh, tell me something, dude. How are your civil rights being violated? I mean... Uh, is it based on race, sex, creed, religion, uh, any of those other qualifiers? Because, well, I just don't see it here because this is a traffic stop where you were pulled over for, well, a uh, lack of license plate and even, and so on. I mean, where are your rights being violated at? Because this is all state law anyway, because, well, like I said, the Tenth Amendment and everything like that, dumbass. Would you and ask? I would not want to drag you through that, but I will just because I do always stand on my rights. I don't ever waive them ever because waiving my rights can never be turned into a crime. So I'm good where I'm at. Okay. Would you like to speak to my supervisor? I would. Thank you. He's coming around on your passenger side, sir. I, I got my window down over here. Side safer for me. Yes, sir. This side safer for me. Say again. I said this side safer for me. Okay, no problem. And could I, can I get your name and badge number just for the record? Yeah, it's not check 180. Thank you for that. Like I was telling this officer here, you know, uh, not trying to give you a hard time at all, but I, I do exercise my rights. I'm a constitutional scholar. <laughs> and... I know my rights very well, and I, I know about my right to travel, and I just don't ever um, voluntarily give jurisdiction to anybody. I I know my Fourth Amendment right to be secure in my person's papers, houses, and effects against any um, unreasonable searches or seizures that shall not be violated, and no warrant shall issue but upon probable cause. Okay, let me cut you short here. This isn't a search, it isn't a seizure. You're being detained for a, a traffic violation. So I'm under no, arrest? No, the officer requested. Am I under? Arrest. Am I being detained? Yes, you are being detained. So I am under arrest. Okay, you call it what you want to do. Well, yeah, that would you be. You can look at the citation as an arrest, yes, sir. But we need okay. your identification okay. being a driver. Well, driver. anytime I'm detained, that's a custodial arrest. So, yeah. like, I, I, I'm just, I okay. just invoke my rights at all times. Okay, so I need your driver's license. Okay, under force, threatened arrest, I will present them. Okay, go ahead and produce your driver's license. Are you going to arrest me if I do not? Yes. You are? Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's all I need. Thank you. Only under force, threatened arrest. And I made that very clear to you. You have proof of insurance as well, sir. I invoke my rights. You know what you're doing here? You're opening yourself so up for litigation. Okay. Your Say again. Because you committed a violation, the officer stopped you. you I committed a violation because there was a, ta uh, uh, a license plate light tag out. But what crime did I commit? What crime do you suspect okay. me of? If there's a license plate light out, and that's what the officer explained to you, that's not then it's a violation of the Missouri State Driver's Code. 
but I'm not driving. Okay, I'm not in any. Driving. I'm not. Okay, no, sir. Your driver's license. Okay, but driving. I'm not this, debate this. It's not debate. Driver's it's just it's the truth, and I stand on the okay, truth. That's fine. You stand on the truth. I'm gonna follow my guidelines. You all right. need your driver's license. I, I'll pre I'll answer. present them. Thank you. I don't have to give them to you. I can present them. No, you, you, you need, need to, to give, give it to me, sir. Him. Say again. Say it again. You guys are going to be YouTube famous. <laughs> you need to go ahead and give it to me, sir. Okay. Under force threatened arrest. You will be arrested if you don't get okay. the ID. Okay. There you go. Thank you. you. Have proof of insurance as well. I got to get it from her. This ain't my car, like I said. And she's got it on her phone. I know she's got insurance. There's no doubt, doubt in my mind. Okay. But you don't have insurance currently with you? Like I said, not my car. She's got it on her phone. She's not with me. I don't have her insurance policy on my phone. Okay. It's, it's hers. Okay. All right. Give me one moment. Sir, can I ask you a question? Oh, yeah. Oh, what a little interesting jump cut you had right there. This was not me, folks. This was him. I wonder what was said in that missing time frame right there. Was it something that he didn't want to be posted on this particular stop? Was it something that proved him wrong or something like that? Well, we'll never know because... He'll only lie to us anyway. Or whatever they decide to do. But right now, <laughs> I would hope so. Unless they want to kidnap me. That's fine too, because that just adds to the lawsuit. What's that? If they want to kidnap me, that's fine. I'll go. I'm sorry you feel that way. There is no crime. I've caused nobody lost injury or harm. I have no victim. Okay, you're going with the flawed, no victim, no crime fallacy, huh? Well, dude, in this particular scenario, seeing as how it is a state law that you violated, the state is the victim here, dumbass. And the state can be represented in a court of law when you attempt to file a lawsuit or meet them in court to resolve this particular traffic issue. But needless to say, you are still a brain dead moron. Just because the light bulb went out, you guys can pirate me on the side of the road and, and hold me up and waste my time? We're not holding you up, man. It's a traffic stop. Yeah, you're holding me up. Traffic stop to accommodate you're you, you got me under custodial arrest. Am I free to go? Am I free to go? Am I free to go? You're just hanging out, just wasting my time. All right. There he is. He's gonna be YouTube famous. Could I get could I get your name and badge number, sir? Can I get your name and badge number? Can I please get your name and badge number just for the like that. Yeah, Can I hear can I get your name and badge number just for the record? Sir, if you'll put your window down, I'll talk to you. I can't hear you mumbling. Alright, never mind. Thank you. I'll get it. I got your face. You don't have proof of insurance on you currently, correct? I don't answer questions. Okay, you don't answer questions. Um you're also receiving a citation for driving the vehicle on city streets without a license plate light operable, okay? Wow. Unbelievable guy. You understand? Unbelievable right, you, guy. You've got court November 14th, 9 a.m. The court's phone number is right there if you have any questions. Do you have any questions for me, sir? Uh, I'm good. Okay. Uh, yeah. Did you take an oath to the Constitution? I did. 
All right. Why don't you uphold it? Okay. Hey, dumbass. He is upholding the Constitution because the Tenth Amendment grants the state's rights to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution. And the very fact that you're walking away from this with, without disappearing into the void is further fact of that because in some countries, your belligerence would have ensured that you would have disappeared off the face of the earth without a trace. So just take your time to appreciate the fact that you managed to get out of this, like I said, without disappearing, and realize that this isn't a country like North Korea where that kind of thing happens. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.